Hola amigos, welcome to Thoughtful Spanish. In today's dialogue, we're heading to an animated park to uncover the distant go verbs in Spanish. These verbs have unique endings in the yo form. They can be confusing for learners. Join Jake, Emma, and their friend Myra as they unpack the nuances of these verbs over a picnic. Dive into real-life examples that will surely help you grasp their use with ease. Acompáñanos. Myra, I came across a few verbs in the Spanish song, and they had weird endings for the yo form, like go. What's up with that? Ah, Jake, you've tumbled upon a famous go verbs. You're right. Verbs like hacer, decir, and tener have that unique go ending in the yo form. For example, hacer becomes yo hago. So, if I'm talking about something I say, would it be yo digo from decir? Exactly, Emma. And that's just one of several such verbs. These go verbs can seem a bit unusual at first, but once you recognize them, they become easier to remember. Thank you, Myra. All right, let's quickly summarize the common go verbs in the yo form. Hacer, yo hago. Yo hago la comida. Decir, yo digo. Yo digo la verdad. Tener, yo tengo. Yo tengo tres libros. Poner, yo pongo. Yo pongo la mesa. Salir, yo salgo. Yo salgo a las ocho. Traer, yo traigo. Yo traigo las bebidas. Venir, yo vengo. Yo vengo del trabajo. Oír, yo oigo. Yo oigo la música. Caer, o caerse. Yo caigo. Yo me caigo del árbol. Learning these go verbs in their frequent usages will help you in everyday conversations. Thank you, Myra. Now we know how to use them.